Hey church family, hope you've been having a great week. This week I was thinking about a few verses from the sixth chapter of John's Gospel. Specifically, they're John chapter 6, verses 66 to 69, and this is what they say. From this time, many of his disciples turned back and no longer followed him. You do not want to leave too, do you? Jesus asked the twelve. Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We believe and know that you are the Holy One of God. In that scene, there had just been a mass exodus of followers of Jesus. In one sense, it's not surprising. Multitudes often flocked to Jesus when he was performing great miracles, like the feeding of the 5,000, which he'd just done at the start of this sixth chapter. But after that, Jesus moved on to some hard teaching. And as a result, the crowd began to scatter. Jesus addressed his closest disciples, the 12, and he asked them, do you guys want to leave too? Which seems to imply that Jesus was checking to see if they too had doubts. Sometimes, if I'm really honest, I have to admit that there are times when I have doubts. One thing that helps me most during times like that is the fact that I realize I'm not alone in my experience. In Psalm 13, verses 1 to 3, David cries out in anguish to God, and he asks, How long, O Lord, will you forget me? Will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and every day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? Look on me and answer, O Lord my God. That was the psalmist David. From inside a prison cell, John the Baptist, whom Jesus identified as one of the greatest who ever lived, sent his own disciples to Jesus with one question. They asked him, Are you the one who was to come, or should we expect someone else? Remember, this is John the Baptist, the same one who at the beginning of Jesus' ministry pointed to Jesus and said, Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. John the Baptist was among the very first to recognize Jesus for who he was. But now, fast forward a couple of years later, and John's in prison. Things haven't worked out the way he anticipated, and he begins to doubt. If these great heroes of the faith asked questions and had doubts, it should come as no surprise to us that we too may wrestle with similar questions and similar doubts. One thing that I've learned through the years is not to fear the questions, but rather to acknowledge them, embrace them, and take them to the best source I've ever known for answers. Take them to Jesus Christ himself. For as Simon Peter himself said, he has the words of eternal life. He is the Holy One of God. Don't deny your doubts. Take them to Jesus.